Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a technology and business consulting company that helps organizations initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and processes. This video, along with others on our channel, should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, peer overviews, and take part in lessons we've designed to help you. We're focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. As they say, practice makes perfect. After multiple iterations of deploying OBIE for our clients, we've developed our own best practices for building success with OBIE. As stated at the beginning of this presentation, you really should evaluate your organization's reporting and analysis audience's needs before you select a tool. The five-step process is part of that. It's also rooted in real issues that you can face with OBIE if these steps are overlooked. If you're considering OBIE as a business intelligence platform, one of the first things you should do is set the vision for your organization using this tool. What, what data supports critical decisions for your organization? Is there visibility to that data on a consistent and reliable basis across your organization? Who owns this information and is responsible for, this, for its accuracy? These are just a few basic questions that will lead to the eventual conclusion that not everyone is making decisions based on sound information throughout the organization. Most business decisions are not being made on actionable intelligence. BI Answers is just one product that can be made available to users to provide a single source of truth and streamline the decision-making process further with dashboards and delivers. Plan to take the time to understand the informational needs that will support your organization now and in the future. Have a look at those spreadsheets that are circulating around your organization. What decisions are being made on that data? Review the current business processes around your organization. Are these processes mature enough to be able to provide the necessary requirements for a decision support system like OBIE? This will help when it comes time to create reports and dashboards that are tailored for those processes and organizations and really reduce the amount of back and forth time in, in really getting the information that's going to drive uh, profitability and growth for your organization. Your business intelligence system is really only be going to be as good as its underlying data. Now, many people know this and it's often not talked about and it's really not talked about as much as it should be. People often don't realize the kind of information that's being captured let's say out in the field or on the manufacturing floor until it's exposed in the data warehouse reporting system. There needs to be clear ownership not only of the, the data but the business rules that govern the data. And also this ownership should extend from the data warehouse all the way back to the transactional systems. This will help avoid costly delays due to poor data quality and it will also help avoid rework and having to do workarounds because of poor data quality. I've seen this time and time again where uh, developers are asked to create structures to overcome deficits in the data where planning and, and uh, cleansing of the data and data stewardship and, and, and mastery of the data would have, would have definitely helped this upstream. The next thing to talk about is has to do with the structure of your data your relational database management systems. While OBIE is completely capable of connecting and abstracting data across multiple systems, it's best deployed over data that's designed for analytical reporting. This gets back to the, the idea that you know data warehouse is, is a completely separate in terms of its needs and requirements than transactional systems. We're talking about millions and millions of rows of data being returned at once. Um, through multiple systems. Review your physical database environment. Evaluate the performance of tables and queries 
before planning to include them in OBIE. By understanding these database level gaps, you'll need to spend less time and effort performance tuning after implementing OBIE. Now, this is not to say that OBIE is capable of additional performance tuning. In fact, it has a complete cache management strategy that will help overcome issues with performance, but it's not meant as a replacement for fundamental performance uh, tuning issues that should take place at the physical database level. Once the previous steps have been completed, you're now ready to get the maximum benefit out of OBIEE. The metadata structures you build will be a direct reflection of the people, process, and data they support. You're removing, a, you're removing the complexity of the data and presenting it in a way that's in line with your formalized business processes. Now the final step is to focus on education. Take the time to educate your team on, on the process and not just the tool set. This will help with adoption of the tool set, but more importantly, it'll get everyone speaking in the same language when describing their business requirements about OBIE or business intelligence in general. <clears throat>